Bollinger with Erie Parks and Recreation, your special projects manager out here at Clayton Park, giving you another tour. You can see the zip line is up and it works. All right, now we're on top of the finished playground structure, which gives you a really good view of the clover leaf layout of the playground. We've been really looking at it from a ground level, but now that the playground structure is finished, you can really get a good view of the whole entire park. And new uh, this time is the shelter that we have up. It's a custom made shelter. You can see the really cool designs. Um, it's gonna give you a lot of shade on a sunny day like today. So now we're under the playground, or excuse me, the shelter. So you can see the really cool designs uh, that the roof makes uh, on the ground. This will all be concrete when it's all said and done. There'll be picnic tables under here, so you'll be able to sit under uh, the shelter here while you watch your kiddos play on the playground or play sports, whether it's baseball or football. Uh, and you can see in the background here, we've got the fencing up for the backstops, uh, and we're, we're gonna go over and see in just a minute, and we're also gonna check out the finished basketball court. We're here at the uh, field number one and two at the baseball fields, walking what will be uh, the dugout. Uh, they got some more work to do on the fencing here, but as far as most of the flat work, which is the concrete, uh, and most of the fencing, as you can see here on fields one and number two, uh, the big fencing is up, the poles are up, uh, all the outfield fencing is up. So once all of the dugouts are finished, then crews will come in and start spreading infield mix uh, for the infields. So one thing that we haven't talked about is what's going on just south of the site here at Clayton Park, and that's a St. Vrain School District. It's a brand new school. They started about four weeks ago, and we've been working closely with their contractors uh, in getting their site all prepped. So they've already got foundations poured, uh, piers poured for their, for their building. Um, so you should be seeing a new school uh, probably erected sometime in the fall, just about the time when we're opening up Clayton Park. So last time we showed you how the post-tension basketball court uh, was being finished with concrete. Well, that work is now done and you can see the cables down here. The crews have already come in and already done the tensioning on these cables. So the basketball court is pretty much finished. And as we look, uh, remember when I said there's no joints in this slab because the cables are underneath and they're tightened. So that's what's really holding the concrete together. Um, there's, there's no seams, no expansion joints or anything like that. And as you can see our basketball uh, hoop is up. Uh, again, I asked if I could uh, shoot some hoops. They said it's not quite settled yet. Um, so look for that in our next video. Uh, maybe we'll shoot some hoops. So it's great to talk about all the cool things that we see above ground, but what often gets unnoticed in parks is, is drainage. Uh, when there's a big rainstorm, when the sprinklers run, things like that, well, the water has to go somewhere. It doesn't always go right back into the grass. So what the architects and the engineers have done is create this, what we call a drainage swale um, that basically takes all the excess water on the site, kind of dumps it into this uh, swale, and it travels uh, north along the site uh, under our what we call French drains here on the sidewalk and out into the storm system. Uh, that keeps the park you know, relatively dry so you don't have big puddles in the middle of all of your playing surfaces. All right, so today crews cut into the street, uh, dug down into the street, and tapped into the city water main. So this will be our main irrigation supply uh, for all of the irrigation here at Clayton Park. So you see they had to bore, um, or excuse me, trench all the way into the park here. You see how deep the hole is. You see the, uh, the natural gas line that, that, that provides gas to all the homes. So they have to work uh, really carefully around all this. Uh, in a few weeks uh, time, there'll be a bunch of equipment here, uh, a meter, backflow preventer, uh, all the irrigation components that will basically uh, irrigate the entire park. All right, everybody, that's pretty much it for today here at Clayton Park. Thanks for coming out and joining me once again. Stay tuned for our next video where we're gonna talk about, hopefully, this hill slide being installed and some of the landscaping. This is Luke Bollinger, Special Projects Manager for Erie Parks and Recreation, still connecting you to fun. Until next time.